Shit, my friend, yeah, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here. And let's get into Planet Zoo. And today we are going to be looking at all of the brand new animals from the North America Animal DLC. I have already prepared some habitats for the animals. I just want to see these animals. Let's have a look. And there's the gators. <laughs> It's always exciting the first time you put an animal in and oh wow you can definitely see the difference with the sizes are between the male and female this one's definitely the male wow oh <laughs> oh is that a slight phobia of alligators and i see why i do now because these are quite scary creatures having a swim already perfect Oh wow, they're very like the saltwater crocs, but definitely a size difference, I think. Before we get on to the next animal, <laughs> let's have a look at the American Alligators Zoopedia. Such a good uh, sort of front page image, thumbnail image for the alligator. It does look rather menacing which is perfect for October and my favorite part the fun facts American alligators lose and regrow, regrow teeth throughout their lives they may go through 3,000 teeth in a lifetime there's just something deeply disturbing about that and I don't know what it is <laughs> And American alligator blood is extremely good at fighting off bacteria, meaning alligators that get seriously injured often do not get infections. Hmm. And it looks like our beavers are in all coming in too. How small are these? Oh wow! Oh, oh I love them. Where'd my other one go? There should be another one coming, but let's... Let's see, we have the male here. Oh! Oh, how cute! Oh, uh, these are coming up to the contenders of my favourite from the pack already. Oh, wow, you're fast. Oh! Oh, there's the other one! Oh, and their swimming style is so different. Have we seen anything that swims like this? Like, only their back feet are going. That's probably, like, super realistic. But, like, even the otters didn't look like that. I really like the fur detail as well. They definitely look fluffy. Oh, look at the little teeth. Well, big teeth. <laughs> Again, I love the screenshots, like the thumbnails of the zoopedias. They are normally very, very cute. North American beavers are known to store food branches underwater near their lodge, so they have food throughout the winter. Oh, so they like do a little store. That's cute. And North American beaver secretes an oil called castorium, which it uses to waterproof its fur. It can be used in perfume and food production. Is this the thing that's like kind of like vanilla? Not very vegan, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm not very vegan either. Uh, but yeah, the beavers are so cute. I do want to say a few things about like the updates and stuff. 1.7 update. Um that came at the same time as the new pack. We're not gonna be looking at any of, the, of that today, but obviously I'll be integrating all of that into the zoo that I will be building for all of these new animals. And I'm guessing this is the female moose because there are no antlers. Yep, <laughs> how'd I do? Great. And, oh, here's the male. This is the one I want to see. Whoa! 
Okay. I knew moose were huge, but was not expecting that. Oh, wow. You can probably tell that I have not seen a moose in real life either. I have seen a reindeer in real life around Christmas when we get to like the festive markets and stuff. But yeah, I've never seen a moose in real life. Oh, bit of a clipping issue, which I'm not surprised by. Oh, for how big the moose is. Unless their poop is like being merged in. That's teeny tiny. Wow. <laughs> Fun facts. Yes. The moose is the largest and heaviest species of deer. Now I get that. <laughs> and during the mating season, male moose may become so aggressive that they will attack indiscriminately. Whoa, okay. They have been known to attack humans, wolves, deer, and bears. Whoa. Moose attacks are the most frequent kind of animal attack in attack in the Americas. Oh wow. Should we have a look at the exhibit animal next? And I've got two little exhibits ready to go and we do have a sign for the bullfrog as well. Oh wow. Okay. I kind of like this little frog. I don't think we've seen anything kind of similar to that before. And maybe I can zoom in a little bit more if I go into this. Which you won't see an absolute thing because of the way I record. <laughs> but I can zoom in a little bit more for you through this one. So you can see the detail in the eyes. And the skin little pock mark. I really like the detail in the eyes for something that's like so small they really put in extra um, viewing sort of things but yeah I really like this I think it looks really good and um, let's see him do a little frog things <laughs> oh oh I don't know whether I like that <laughs> The American bullfrog is a generalist predator that has been known to capture and eat bats, birds, and tarantulas. I'm not sure whether I'm disturbed by that or I kind of like a more for eating tarantulas. <laughs> Anything to get rid of them. I'm sorry, I'm terrified. I hate spiders, so go on little froggy eat all of the tarantulas I'm good with that <laughs> the prairie dog should be in by now or at least oh yeah you're just teeny tiny the prairie dogs are like the meerkats then they dig let's have a look oh these are the smallest animals uh oh there's the one the dug these are the smallest animals in Planet Zoo now. The meerkats were, but the prairie dogs now take up the teeniest animal. Oh, how cute are these? Oh, they because they are kind of like rodenty. They do remind me of my rabbits, especially like the way they run with the bounce at the back legs. But wow, they're fast. And. <laughs> One kilogram weight. Oh, they're so small. So if we have a look at the meerkats. The meerkats are actually smaller. I thought they were like in size. So 30 centimeters long. And the prairie. Ah, 39. 30. Oh, I thought the prairie dogs were smaller than the meerkats. But they are rather small. So the meerkats are still the smallest. Uh, although not an endangered species, the range of black-tailed prairie dog is now just 5% of what it used to be due to humans changing land use and encroaching upon the prairie dog's habitat. Oh. Prairie dogs call to their pack mates to communicate details about nearby predators, such as the predator's size, distance away, and whether they are above or below ground. Pretty good at communication then. They can 
tell each other all of that. Oh, I'm looking forward to these. <laughs> I love how they all pop in together. So there is a colour difference between the males and the female sea lions. Uh, let's have a look at the female first. She is like a lot lighter in colour. I love the animation of the way they walk too. The little head going is so realistic. I love it. Let's see you do a swim underwater then. Oh, look at them go. Oh, wow. Oh, they like do tricks. Oh, wow. I can barely keep up. I'm swirling around. This is kind of similar to the penguins, like the way they swim. But I like how they like spin underwater. Okay, California sea lions are the fastest species of seal and they can swim at speeds of up to 25 miles an hour. As opposed to true seals, California sea lions and other eared seals are adapted for movement on land and in the water. The bone structure in their limbs allows them to utilize front and hind flippers for walking. So yeah, that's where you can see like the animation where they like kind of bob their head to and from. Okay, here they come. Oh, I'm hoping these are like super small. I don't know why. <gasps> they are! Oh my, I love you already. Oh, you're so cute. Oh yeah, do a little woo. <laughs> we can see how fluffy they actually are, which of course, if you're an Arctic type animal, you definitely need to be quite fluffy. But they're a lot smaller, aren't they? Than the Arctic wolves, of course. Oh, and they dig too. Arctic fox paw pads are completely covered in fur, giving them their Latin species name Nagopus? Meaning rabbit foot. Oh! Oh, that's so cute. Rabbit foot. Oh! And lastly, the Arctic fox must deal with a temperature difference of up to 100 degrees C between its internal body temperature and the environmental temperature. Whoa! So it, they're pretty good at like surviving really cold weather then. Uh, if we check here, it should be in this, right? Natural habitat, minus 50 degrees C and up to 28 degrees C. Wow. Okay then, last one, the cougar. Oh, you're beautiful. Absolutely stunning, hello. Oh, absolutely beautiful, see you. Oh, wow, there you go. Ah, uh, this is one of the new enrichment items as well. It's kind of like the zebra. There's a cougar on the roof. I've switched off escaping, right? No! Shit! You're in with the moose now. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, ma'am. I'm not sure. Yeah, excuse me, sir. You were in the wrong habitat. I think this is my favorite pack so far. Like the Southeast Asia animal pack was amazing. And I think that really set the tone. Gave you a level of what animal packs were going to be like. But this is my favorite so far, I think. 
there's just every animal I love other than the alligator but that's just because I'm kind of terrified of them that's not their fault and <laughs> they look really cool but yeah wow beautiful and despite the being the fourth largest cat species cougars are not considered part of the big cats as they lack the bones and organs required to roar oh so they're like cheetahs then oh bless them cougar cubs are born with black spots that act as camouflage they lose this patination at six months old cute we will see that at the end and cougars are strong swimmers able to cross lakes and rivers but like most cats prefer to stay out of the water so because i've been recording for like an hour and a half now and i have no idea how i am going to get this down into a short-ish video ready for you uh but i've had a lot of fun and i really really like these new animals i think this is the best pack so far i'm just gonna call it there this is the best pack so far i love these animals but maybe top three would be the beaver the arctic wolf and the cougar but the one I was most surprised by was definitely the moose for how large those moose are. Like, I am absolutely baffled. <laughs> They're huge! I can't believe it! Let me know in the comments which animal is your favourite. And what animal should I build a habitat for for the first habitat in the new north america zoo that i will be starting next week if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video i upload on mondays wednesdays and saturdays mondays and saturdays for life is strange true colors at the moment and planet zoo on wednesdays thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time Goodbye.